I love the colorful voice you make And the way the sunlight plays upon her hair On the wind that lifts her perfume through the air Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I've got this absolutely 100% original Harley Davidson AMF short circuit. It's a very rare motorcycle. They only made these for one year in 1972. Uh, it was actually built in 71 and marketed as a 1972 model. The bike is has the original paint on it, original seat, original Pirelli tires on it. I've got the title in hand. It's an original paint bike and one of the lowest mile examples I've seen yet. This bike only has 298 miles on it. So um, it's all original except for some of the internal engine parts were rebuilt. Less than 50 miles ago, uh, Moto Italia um, had uh, rebuilt the um, crank and also uh, the crank uh, upper end bearing, uh, lower end and upper end bearings and the piston, piston rings and uh, all the gaskets are brand new on the engine with less than 50 miles. That was done in 2002, but the motorcycle wasn't ridden since then. Uh, just just uh, started and ridden around the yard a little bit. But I have the receipt from Moto Italia. They're one of the foremost experts from uh, uh, California on rebuilding these motorcycles. And uh, it's got new rings, rebuilt the crank. Um, and then there's a bunch of parts here, uh, gaskets and stuff like that. Pistons, piston rings, everything else is all brand new. So, and here's the receipts for it, um, roughly $400 in receipts. So the engine, even though the bike has extremely low miles, I'm not sure why uh, the engine needed to be rebuilt. Maybe they ran it out of oil or didn't pre-mix it right, I'm not sure. But the engine was rebuilt, less than 50 miles on it. Cosmetically, it's all original. They're only original once. The paint, the frame paint looks great. These are stainless steel fenders. We didn't even wash the motorcycle. This is exactly the way it came in. These can be buffed out to a chrome-like finish. You've seen restored examples uh, out there with the fenders looking like chrome. That's because they're stainless and they buff up easily. The handlebars are in great shape. The uh, headlights unscathed. The original paint job is good. It's got a little bit of patina from the age. Uh, the original graphics. The inside of the tank look great. The seat looks brand new. Um, the uh, exhaust system is in mint condition, as is the chrome guard. The pegs are, are mint. They don't it, like the bike's ever been dropped. Uh, everything on the bike's uh, in excellent condition, as far as I can see. Uh, for the year, there's a little bit of patina on it here and there, like on the rims and some of the paint patina. And there's a couple little uh, blemishes on the tank, but they're only original once. And restoring a bike like this. In some cases, you know, changing the paint job, repainting it, actually reduces the value on a classic. If you want an original, unmolested, great running, uh, Harley Davidson shorts are extremely rare, one year model. I'm six foot two, and I fit perfect on the bike. So this is a bike that even an adult can ride. Um, brakes work excellent. Uh, it's a three speed transmission. Uh, it's got the, check out the, the, the speedometer on it. It's kind of cool, it says Harley Davidson, 298 miles on it. Um, very, very rare, collectible, classic, vintage, uh, 1972. So the bike's almost 50 years old, um, and it's original. So very rare to find, very rare to find a good running example like this. Again, there's a little bit of patina here and there. Uh, it looks like the fork tubes might have a tiny little bend in them. Uh, something could easily be dismantled and straightened out on a, on a, on a press. Uh, this is just this one left fork here. The right fork looks good. Um, other than that, the, uh, oh, and it doesn't have the original shifter tip. It's got a makeshift shifter tip that somebody put on there for, out of a bolt, but those are available from Moto Italia and several other sources. Uh, the carb um, is in excellent condition. The uh, fuel line has a filter on it to keep anything out of the carb and engine. So basically you've got 
a 298 mile example with a brand new engine in it with zero miles on it. So um, if you wanted to take it and polish up the fenders and touch up some of the paint, go right ahead. We wanted to leave an original so whoever buys this uh, is, is dealing with an original unmolested machine. So um, if you have any questions, give us a call 860-454-7024. I do have the title in hand. Uh, the original owner, uh, Lou's Auto Service, owned this bike for, from 1973 until 2005, apparently. So they owned it for, jeez, uh, what's that, 38, 33 years. So um, beautiful bike. Uh, I've got the receipts for the work done by, by Moto Italia. As far as the values go, I've seen these regularly selling for 4,500 and up for restorative versions. Uh, the, the NADA guide lists, guide lists it at $3,190 in excellent condition. I would say this bike is in excellent condition. Um, it's a, uh, again, only 8,000 of these were produced. It was a one year model. It was for the US only. Most of them got destroyed by kids who rode them into the ground. This has original Pirelli tires on it, original paint, um, and it's got the full size 140 millimeter headlight. So it's street legal, you can ride it at night. It's got the tail light on it. And we also have, in addition to the receipts, the title, and everything else, we also have the original 1971 manual for the motorcycle. So uh, kind of cool thing to have. Um, so it's got the full service manual in here. So uh, all, uh, pro a portion of the proceeds of the sale are going to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum construction. So uh, you're helping to preserve motorcycle history and you're buying a great running little uh, classic motorcycle that, that sure to go up in value. If you want a, an investment that's going to outpace the stock market, you can't go wrong with a classic antique Harley Davidson's. So, um, good luck bidding on the bike. And uh, we can ship it anywhere in the country for 500 or less. And so, we can help you with the shipping, that's no problem. And we can help you figure out how to ship it overseas. So, good luck bidding on the bike and God bless.